Hi everyone and welcome to And So On. My name is Lisa and today I'm going to be showing you two pairs of Hudson pants that I made as well as a hack I did on this toaster sweater. And if you hang around, I have a giveaway to celebrate hitting 3,000 subscribers and I'm going to introduce you to some new sewing vloggers that I think you're going to love as part of that giveaway. So I am a little under the weather today. I think you can probably hear it in my voice. I had a show um, Friday and Saturday night and it was great to do um, a show and later on I'll probably be able to show you a little bit, a tiny little clip of it um, in another video. But uh, something about performing, it's just it's, it's a whole lot of energy and then when it's done, your body kind of goes, great, excellent, we're done and it kind of crashes. <laughs> So yeah, I'm pretty under the weather. So this will just be a really quick video, but I haven't been on in about a week and so I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing. So today I wanted to show you two pairs of Hudson pants that I made and I've talked about wanting to do these before. I believe they're on my make nine, so that would be great. Have a nice check mark, double check mark for those. Um, the Hudson pants, every time I see them on Instagram, I'm always in love with them and I've had the, the um, pattern for probably six months or more um, when True Bias had a sale a little while ago and I haven't got around to making them and this weekend I made two pairs. It's such an easy pattern. Like I can't believe how easy they are and they look so super cute. And then I also made for um, this one pair a matching top <laughs> and I did talk about it in, in my other video that I was trying to see if I could get um, both the Hudson pants and a toaster sweater out of two meters of gray cloud sweater knit and less than a meter of the pink and it took some doing but I didn't. So let me show you first. So here are my Hudson pants and oh gosh I don't know. I'm going to be able to really show you exactly, but you can see I've got a little um, detail here and I've got a detail on the cuff. Um, I've also got the pink waistband and in the sweater knit, they're quite um, snug on the tush, but it's not something that I'd really be wearing outside a whole lot, so that's fine. And then the top is a toaster sweater and I was wearing this in my last video. Um, I feel kind of silly wearing them together. <laughs> I feel very Tony Soprano, um, but I wanted to show them to you, so it just made sense to put them on together. And I did a hack. I used a neckband, and all I did was I took the measurement for the, um, like the measurement around the circumference of the neckline, and I subtracted that number th by three, and I just created a neckband and put it on, and it was easy peasy. So, you know, I just made the toaster even more flexible for, you know, everything that I'm making. And honestly, I can't imagine needing another raglan um, sweater pattern. It's just perfect for me. I managed to get both of these out of the sweater knit that I had left over. The only thing I had to do was I did have to cut the pocket lining against the grain, which doesn't really matter. And I also did the pocket well, I don't know which one's called which, but this one I did against the grain, and this lining here I did in some leftover thrifted um, sweatshirt fabric. So other than that, doesn't matter, right? Okay. My second pair of Hudson's I made out of this fabric, and you might remember that from my last epic fabric haul, and I will link it if you haven't seen it, because it is pretty epic. This is an amazing sweater, sweatshirty sweater knit. It's like kind of a combo, really. And um, I love it so much and I thought this would be perfect for heads and pants. And luckily I have enough left over that I can still do a sweatshirt in the fall. So I'm not gonna put them on right now. I'm going to just put a picture up of these, but I also did a contrast um, little pocket detail using some navy blue t-shirt fabric. And I lengthened the legs just an inch because I feel like these right now are fine, but I feel like if they get washed and dried too often, which in my house, if it can't go in the washer and dryer, there's no point in making it. Um, I might need a little bit longer and I have quite long legs and I hate cold ankles. So I lengthened it just an inch. Anyway, this pattern is so, so comfortable. I can't wait to make some for my kids and uh, I'm glad that I finally got on the ball and did those. Okay, so time for the giveaway. So if you've done any of my other giveaways for my 1,000 or 2,000 subscriber, you know that I like to introduce you to new vloggers and share some of that wonderful love that you guys, <clears throat> that you guys always give me and hopefully share that with them because um, I know from experience that you know putting out videos like this is putting yourself out there not only kind of ego wise and emotionally but it's also a lot of work and so it's really nice to get um, some feedback and and some love so I think I have seven vloggers to introduce you to and for the giveaway all you have to do is go to one two four five all of those vloggers 
and uh, pick a video or two, watch it all the way through if, if you could, um, like it, make a comment, and if you would like, subscribe, because again, it's so nice for vloggers to have more subscribers, it makes you feel really good. Um, when you've done that, come on back, tell me who you found, tell me who you liked, and I will enter you in the draw. So what is the giveaway this, this time? Well, it is a printed pattern from the Avid Seamstress. So the wonderful Daryl from Fabric Spark, and I'm gonna put a picture of their store up here. The wonderful Daryl from Fabric Spark, um, offered this lovely pattern from the Avid Seamstress. And actually, I believe that Fabric Spark is the first place in Canada to carry the Avid Seamstress um, printed patterns. And so she's offered the sheath dress, and I'll put a picture of it here. Absolutely beautiful. So I have linked the pattern below on the Fabric Spark website. Thanks again, Daryl, for offering this printed pattern. And I will ship it anywhere in the world. So please feel free to enter no matter where you are. I will send you that beautiful pattern if you are the winner. So I've prepared a video that has all of the um, new vloggers that I want you to see, and I've linked them up below. So head over there, give them some love. You guys are all so supportive and lovely. Um, I know they'll really appreciate it. And come back, tell me who you found, tell me who you love. And um, a week from now, I will announce the winner, okay? Good to see you guys. Sorry I'm a little under the weather. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. So the first vlog I wanted to share with you is Lou from Oh Liverpool Lou, and she is just a hoot. She's in Abu Dhabi, and she sews up gorgeous, gorgeous stuff, and she's just so fun and entertaining to watch, and I know you guys are gonna love her. Next is Flavia from Alchemisti Handmade, and um, she does wonderful tutorials, really cool stuff, and as a bonus, if you happen to speak Portuguese, she also does separate videos in Portuguese. This is Adrienne from Montreal, Montreal, Canada, which is um, my hometown actually. And she started uh, a new channel where she follows her journey of moving away from ready to wear and moving into handmade. And uh, her channel is just lovely. I think you're gonna enjoy that, so have a look. This lady, I didn't catch her name, unfortunately. Um, it's Pr Prima Dressmaker, and she does wonderful sew-alongs of dress patterns. Um, really, really well done, and she's in New Zealand, so definitely check her out. This is Claudia from So Far So Good, and she is a Toronto girl like me and has started a sewing channel, so check her out. This is Kira from Kira Momodu, and she does fantastic sewing for the young adult, I think is as she calls it, and um, I love her project, so head over and see Kira. And then this is Anna from Tip Top Sewing, and she has some beautiful patterns that she shows and fabric hauls, etc. and her sewing is lovely. Wait, I almost forgot. This is Abby from What Abby Wears, and her channel I think is just called Abby McDowell. She is a ballerina in, I believe, South Carolina, and she has started sewing some beautiful things. She does a lot of seamwork patterns, so that's kind of fun to see because I don't see those all that often. And yeah, head over and check out Abby.